Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at Florentino Luiz, a Portuguese youngster, currently unknown at Monaco, from Benfica. Uh, seen to be as a big, big player that can be brought into your club on Football Manager 21. Uh, very good last year and very good this year by the looks of things already. Um, a lot much, much more of a deeper player. So plays, plays just in front of that um, back four, but can also play um, a little bit further forward in the centre of midfield. Um, not the biggest of players, but definitely mentally looking fantastic with great teamwork, work rate, positioning uh, and tackling is very good as well. So I'm sure you could end up developing as a centre half, but at this stage, not got the best heading or anything like that, but maybe if necessary. Um, looking at his stats, as you can see, he's played a bunch of times already for um, Benfica and Benfica's B team. So he's he is performing at the top level already and um, being unknown to Monaco will only help that push forward. But um, we'll jump ahead five years, see where he's at at 25 years old in his prime um, and go from there. So no real surprise for me that he's moved on to one of the bigger clubs in the world, especially with the amount of money that they have. So he's off at Chelsea, 25 appearances and three goals for Portugal, which is um, a sign of definitely things to come. I can imagine that's happening. Mental attributes look amazing. The composure, concentration, anticipation... He's an extremely good player, 26 years old, an elite midfielder, as we can see there. So what happened? So he was at loan on at, at Monaco, played very, very well, um, moved back to Benfica, playing a couple of seasons with them. Again, the performances are absolutely fantastic and um, made that £54 million move to Chelsea over the last three years where he's continued his performance um, at the highest level. Fantastic looking player. Um, certainly someone I, I would be looking to sign if you can um, for the amount of money. Let's take a look at competition wins. So we can see that he made his first cap at 22 against Kazakhstan, um, won the Portuguese League Cup with Benfica um, and then moved on to... Chelsea as well for £54 million uh, and, and won the Carabao Cup. So he's not won too much, to be honest, um, since we've taken a look at him. Uh, but I, I think that will change. He is at Chelsea now and I think in his prime, if you go wrong with someone like this sitting in front of your defence, there's certainly something wrong with the, the club itself rather than the players. Um, but we'll, we'll jump again. We'll, we'll see how he looks at around 30, 31 years old uh, and, and what's gone on there. So he's still at Chelsea in the year 2030, 30 years old now, 72 caps and 5 goals for Portugal overall, still phenomenal stats, I, I play, playing in that role I think he's certainly a player that can have that longevity, um, he's, he's obviously got very good physicals with that natural fitness that will keep those high for a long long time, um, but the way he can play is just sitting in front of that defence, um, working hard for the team, getting those tackles in, breaking up play, um, and even being able to kind of play those passes, because 15 passing, 14 vision is very, very good. Does look like he has requested to be transfer listed, so maybe it's a case that he has slowed down in how many games he started to play. Does look like it um, has dropped off slightly on form as well. Uh, performed very well up until the last couple of seasons where he's maybe dropped slightly um, in game time and everything like that, maybe due to his age. Uh, but let's take a look at competition wins. Uh, they did win the Premier League and Community Shield, as well as the Carabao Cup again, uh, and the uh, Euro Cup. So it does look like he has started to win more and more things with Chelsea, but obviously has now requested to leave. Be interesting to see if he does leave and, and how quickly that comes about uh, along with where he goes will he stick in stay in England or is it kind of move back to Portugal we'll, we'll take a look and see where he's at all right so he has ended up back at Portugal 35 years old a model citizen as I've mentioned I think the stats obviously the physicals have dropped massively he's 35 now so it's what you'd expect but the mental and technical attributes he's got and where he plays, if you just sit him there and not make him do too much, kind of he could even play a bit of a Perlo role, not maybe as good, but um, the work rate and tackling he's got, he'll be, still be able to break up play, his positioning's still very good, um, so he'll be able to kind of get in those areas. Uh, 77 caps, 55 goals overall, looks like that may be the end, but we can see he moved from Chelsea to Bochum in Germany uh, for 6.25 million, um, did play quite a bit there and he's and he did very well as well I have to say he's he performed well you can see where he's dropped off and gone out of favor at Chelsea um, slowly but surely over the seasons but then ended up moving to Santa Clara back in Portugal so he's back there likely where he will retire now I expect um, 
due to his kind of Portuguese roots. Uh, 7.52 rating though is still very good for a player of his age um, in, a, in a decent league as well. It's kind of a retirement league from what we've seen um, with some of the other teams, which is interesting because I wouldn't say Portugal is exactly one of the easiest leagues to be playing in. But Certainly very interesting to see. Um, valued at £2 million now, but still a star player for Santa Clara. Um, as you'd expect with those, me especially those mentors, some fantastic stats there. And I mean, get him mentoring a couple of the youngsters that will come through and they'll be firing, especially as a model citizen as well. But we'll jump again, see where he's retired, what's happened and, and how he's got on. Okay, so it looks like he is 40 years old and has looked to be a manager. Um, National B license, signs lower league players, sign a lot of young players to turn profit on them. So interesting couple of um, tens to there. Still a model citizen, as you'd probably expect. Not the best attributes, really, for a manager or really even a coach. He's, he's quite adaptable, determined, and a good level of discipline, but not high quality. I can imagine that's probably why he hasn't got a job just yet um two years after um retiring but let's take a look at his career stats so it looks like he he stayed at santa clara for a little while actually so he must have been around 38 years old by the time he retired um moving off to italy maybe a bit of a slower league so it worked in his favor and that's why he was able to play 32 games for them in that season but um a very very good performance is still even at the the age he was at um a million pounds for Napoli for one season or one and a bit seasons um bargain I'd say uh, overall a pretty decent player and one that can definitely last the, the kind of age of time um enjoys a park of the bus which isn't too surprising because of the type of player he was at when he was playing um but very good nonetheless uh, interesting to see his career and how that developed um I hope you did enjoy. I certainly did. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you did, like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time.